Hey everybody, Addict to the Finest Pizza here. I realized I haven't uploaded a video in a really long time. Uh, I believe about <laughs> eight months last time I checked. And um, the reasoning for that is because I, uh, my editing software, my, my recording, not, so not software, sorry. The things that I used to edit and record um, just were not working anymore. My phone's memory was filling up, um, which is also where I edited videos. In those videos, I would always have to record them in time lapse and then edit them to be faster. They'd always be a considerable time, and after a while, um, just with using your phone, because you're not just gonna have a phone just for recording, unless you're rich and you do. Um, in that case, I don't understand why you don't get a uh, camera and computer, but I don't have a computer. Um, my laptop kind of, you know, broke down on me, so I was just using my phone. And for a while that was okay until space became an issue and um along with just like the space being an issue i kind of lost the motivation to draw um and i just got into a really sad place um for where like for weeks i wouldn't upload on instagram or i think even a month like i started um I started off doing like 365 drawing challenge day drawing challenge because I thought it may be fun and get me back into drawing, but it didn't. It <laughs> just like with every passing day, I was like, oh, all this stuff's awful. So I just like eventually stopped drawing. And um, when I stopped drawing, it's just like I stopped for a while. I it took me a lot to eat to sketch or to even turn a sketch into a fully realized piece. Um, and that was just kind of like really hard on me because I love art, I love drawing, and I like making things and being creative. And to, for me to not be able to draw what I want, and it wasn't even just like, you know, all artists have that thing. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, all artists have that thing where like, they see something in their head and they draw it and it doesn't turn out how it is, but like, it didn't even turn out close to what I saw in my head and I was so disappointed with it and I was so upset with myself, I just kind of gave up for a while. Um, just like the idea of drawing kind of like stressed me out or the idea of thinking about like all those people who were probably waiting to, you know, hear from me just like, and I post nothing, you know. Um, I even had like one of my closest friends on uh, Instagram like message me like, hey, are you all right? I miss seeing your artwork and stuff like that. Um, and a couple other artists on Instagram I reached out to, and uh, they were kind of going through the same thing, so I felt like a lot of comfort in that, but I still didn't feel good about my situation. So, um, it just took a lot of talking to my boyfriend and talking to my friends, and just like, kind of getting it in my head that like, you know, you do make good art, and you do make nice art. People like what you do, and um, Slowly but surely, I kind of just like kicked myself into gear. Um, I, you know, was doing uh, commissions, but I still wasn't really free drawing a lot, just like only doing things when I had to. Um, I joined a really wonderful group of nice um, people on Instagram. Um, we did this whole like Zodiac collab together, and that was really fun to do. Um, we also did another collab, but I wasn't feeling too confident in what I made so I didn't end up posting it and I felt really awful about that but I <laughs> I could not post it um and hopefully I'll be able to make it up to them some way but um it's just like I, I was still kind of feeling negative about what I did um so I eventually got a um a tablet a drawing tablet well, I didn't get a drawing tablet. I got a tablet, and I my first idea was I can use this to draw. So I looked up some free art programs. Um, the one that I'm using in this video is really awesome. Like I love it, but I've surprisingly not heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, and usually when I look up stuff on it, it's a lot of people who do um, anime art, which I mean, like anime art isn't bad, but I like, haven't seen people who do my kind of art do it, use it. Um, but if you do, um, let me know. But it's uh, IBS X Paint, I believe. It's really awesome. It's got a lot of fun tools. Um, and it's just like really relaxing for me to watch. There's a lot of brushes. And um, some of the brushes you do have to pay for. 
But uh, the cool thing about this app is you can watch an ad for to get them for free. So that's really cool. And you can do it as many times as you want to use those brushes. So, I mean, like I haven't hit a wall with the app yet and I've been using it for, I want to say four to five months. Um, and every time I've wanted to use a brush that was like locked behind a paywall, I just watched an ad and it was available to me. So um, if you are an artist who has like a Samsung device or an app, Android device, um, whether it be your phone or your tablet, I suggest using that, especially if you want to make some high quality art, um, because it is pretty nice. And I would say I like this app better than when I was using Psy on my computer. That's just my opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I've recorded this voiceover oh, quite a bit, so I don't remember if I've said this, but this is for my Patreon. Um, it's just a December print. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's a, uh, I like it. I think it's really cool. And I haven't done hair like this in a really long while. And I'm, I had a lot of fun, like not only sketching it out, but um, lining it, I almost said inking, lining it in the app. It's just like really fun. And uh, the brush, even though the brush isn't, pressure sensitive it's speed sensitive so you can like really tell when I make those really fast like wispy lines because you can see that the uh, line kind of ends in like a point I don't know it's just like it's really satisfying to watch and I think my art style really looks nice um, when I use this app um, but I mean upon other things that really stop me from making videos it's just like mainly the um, just not having the software and then also not having the motivation to even draw let alone record a video. Um, but now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I'm hoping that um, I can not only come up with more video ideas, but record things and actually feel like making art and actually feel like, you know, editing and sitting through the rendering process and just being excited for art again, because um, just recently I had had such a huge downfall with like social media, art, and, and art in general and like both those aspects i was just so like down um is crazy but this was really fun and it was awesome and it just kind of made me think about all those people that i had made friends with on like youtube and some of my old friends that i'm still subscribed to on youtube um and also just like back in 2015 2016 i cannot remember what year that was it's such a blur but 2015 2016 when um I had like a, a pretty good like friend group on uh, Instagram or just like that one good person that I would always talk to. Um, so yeah, I mean like it's just, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited and I think I'm doing a lot better than I was now. Um, then, I'm sorry, I think I'm doing a lot better that now than I was then four or five months ago or even yesterday really <laughs> so um yeah i hope i can bring you guys more videos and more consistent videos i'm not gonna say that i'll have a video for you guys every day um i mean it might start out that i only have a video like <laughs> as bad as it sounds like i might have a video like once a month or like once a week or maybe uh, once i feel more comfortable um and get myself really on a schedule to like record, edit, upload, record, edit, upload, record, edit, upload. Once I get like better with having to set myself on that kind of schedule, um, videos will be more frequent and more high quality um, because that's what I wanna make. I wanna make really good content for you guys. Um, a last note before uh, this video is over, I would like to mention my Patreon. I don't know if I said that before. I probably did. I have probably mentioned it three times and then said, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but um, I do have a Patreon. It's Addicted to the Finest Pizza, the same as my Instagram and the same as my YouTube, spelled the exact same way. Um, and if you want to go check out the tiers, I have postcards available, um, prints, and uh, commission discounts. So, you know, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. But I want to thank all of you guys for... Um, sticking with me and if you're new I would like to thank you for even checking out this video um, uh, you guys are really awesome and I don't know what I do without the support of you guys so I hope you are looking forward to all the stuff that's gonna come 
from me being back on YouTube. A lot of the stuff that I upload at first is probably going to be digital, but I promise I will try to find a way to do traditional stuff again. But like I said, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, without anything else to say, I guess I can just sign off here and tell you guys to have a good morning, evening, night, or afternoon. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Before I close out this video, I just want to give a thanks to my patrons, Dr. Pando and Neon Toast 520.